Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night. It is the Earth Master out here, 10.47 p.m. California time, April or uh, May 8th, 2024. I don't want to go back in time. Uh, latest activity shows a 1.7 earthquake into the Alaska area. That is the uh, latest earthquake up there on the globe. Now, uh, goodness, we have a massive sunspot region here, 3664, that is looking quite crazy out here on the sun. It is a monster of a sunspot, and that is capable of producing some very large X flares. We are currently flaring with an M1.0. Now, we're consistently sizzling out here across the M flare category with periodic X flares taking place out here. Quite a few long duration X flare events as well. Got to watch that because we could see something much larger than what we've been seeing here uh, from the sunspot. Now, 3664 is a uh, ginormous, very complex sunspot here that harbors some potential for some very strong X flares. Now, the uh, popcorn colors out here, red and blue and all that stuff, indicate the polarities of the magnetic field that the sunspot harbors. And uh, I'm going to be honest, this is one of the more stronger sunspots that I've seen out here this solar cycle. Uh, so far, it's only producing some low-grade X flares, long-duration X flares. We'll check out the Aurora forecast in a second. But uh, it does harbor some potential, uh, possibly um, producing something larger than what we've seen so far this solar cycle, which, by the way, was the X 6.3 back February 22nd of this year. Pretty massive X flare. That was off there on the northwestern quadrant of the sun. So uh, definitely got to keep an eye on that because, uh, you know, obviously it's super complex and it is consistently flaring with M flare activity. So it looks as though uh, potentially here on Friday night we'll be seeing a G2 class storm uh, around the 0 to 600, uh, 0 600 time frame. Now that would put it at roughly about right now, nighttime period on Friday night. Uh, the Aurora forecast does not show anything um, for now. Uh, this is for tonight and tomorrow night, Thursday night. But it's going to be on Friday night when the brunt of the CME will come in. I'm sure we'll see this uh, kick up a lot stronger here. But for tomorrow night, KP index around 4 or so. But uh, G2 class storm coming towards us on Friday. Friday night. So watch for the auroras. And of course, watch for some uh, stronger flares here as we uh, see this ginormous sunspot 3664 looking very promising here, uh, producing some very strong flares here while it's currently facing the Earth. All right, as far as earthquake activity goes, a little bit of deja vu going on here. I just did a 30 minute long update and. Uh, well, it, it didn't record, so I had some issues going on here on this end. So I'm just trying to keep it around 10 minutes or so. Earthquake activity, as I've said in the past here, has been very quiet in terms of broad scale movement. There's really not a whole lot going on. Yes, we had some early, uh, earlier earthquake activity, 6.1 coming in just about 24 hours or so ago now into the Vanuatu area. But since then... There is really not a lot going on. A 4.0 into the Alaska, a couple smaller quakes as well. Um, some very minimal movement there across California and the Middle America Trench. But uh, generally speaking, this is very quiet activity. Uh, the Kilauea volcano out here is still continuing to see earthquake activity along with elevated inflation movement here across the summit area of Kilauea volcano. Now, let's go ahead and double check that here from the USGS site. Oh, man, goodness. I Again, I just did this. <laughs> it's, woo, I'm glad that doesn't happen too often. But when it does, oh, man, it uh, it's definitely a stomach punch. All right, earthquake activity. There's uh, a few earthquakes out here in the last 12 hours, as you, as you can see here on the seismograph. But it's the inflation chart here that we got to watch the deformation data that tells us what's going on underneath the surface far as magma movement and this is the last two days notice the elevated activity out here continuing past week as well 
continuing to chart upward on the graph. This most recent upward movement is unlike all these other stair-stepping events here. This is a pretty straightforward up displacement going on here. So we got to watch that. Things elevated underneath the Kilauea volcano right now. And we've uh, uh, gone above that level that we've seen previously back in uh, early January and February uh, when we reached the peak of the inflation before a large displacement of magma off to the southwest rift zone. That's that huge drop there on the graph. So got to watch out. Things are definitely elevated out there underneath the volcano. Uh, the Iceland volcano, the activity has halted at the surface for now in terms of our ongoing uh, eruptive activity. Our one active crater here has stopped fountaining. Um, and that's a little concerning because we've seen elevated activity out here across the Savart Singhi area with inflation underneath the region. So we're looking at a new eruption happening soon. The question is where? We got to watch earthquake activity because that could mean areas uh, away from our current um, uh, the, the eruption that we had just seen. It could be away from the crater area. Further south here along the Hagefell or maybe even to the Grindavik area. Very concerning because things are uh, they're amplified underneath this region. It's been swelling even with the uh, ongoing eruption there. Now that it has halted, things are going to get real uh, really quickly. So we got to watch that pretty closely there across that area of Grindavik and the entire region. The key to watching the, uh, the potential for new eruptive activity is going to be watching the earthquake activity. Right now we do have some just north of Grindavik and a little area around the Stora Stagafell region. Uh, the rest of the globe out here, Southern California region, very minimal activity. A uh, little bit there in the Santa Ana Mountains area and along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. But generally, this is all very small earthquake activity. The rest of the states here are fairly quiet, and it's just eerily quiet out here across the globe for now. Um, you know, obviously, there's always earthquake activity taking place here on any given time, any given moment. But looking at this over the last 24 hours, things have been uh, a little on the mellow side. So we'll continue to watch for uh, elevated activity out here once that CME activity hits us on Friday night. Again, I think it's very possible here we could see some elevated X-flare activity from this massive sunspot region. It's a uh, ginormous sunspot, 3664 promises here, you know, with this complexity to give us some very strong flaring and potentially matching or exceeding that strongest flare so far this solar cycle. It's, uh, you know, I don't know if you can get any more complex than that. We're recording. I'm making sure. <laughs> Those of you guys on the live stream will probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. All right. Um, space uh, space weather. Yes, obviously, we got to watch that pretty closely. As uh, far as weather down here on Earth, continue to see that severe weather threat throughout portions of the area here on the states. Uh, southeast going to get in on this tomorrow. This is the current threat tonight with uh, tornado activity, wind and hail. These guys, I, I know they need a break, and it's coming after Friday. Here's the severe weather threat here for Friday. Tornado, wind, and hell events out here. Uh, these guys just can't catch a break, can they? But as I said, after Friday, it looks like things are going to mellow out. A look at the tropical tidbit storm here. Uh, after Friday, there we go. We just got thunderstorm activity hovering about here across areas that may need some beneficial rain. And, uh, you know, I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. It's just the severe weather and tornado activity and baseball, softball-sized hail falling out of the sky that people really don't want to see anymore. Um, I'm really not seeing any significant severe weather event. Maybe here, looks like on uh, Monday into Tuesday, May 21st, there's a low-pressure system that may be tapping into some Gulf moisture that may stir up a little severe weather, but it doesn't look like much. Um, so that's good news, right? We want to get rid of that severe weather for these folks. They need a break. They have to have a break out here. There's been way too much damage out here, way too much, uh, um, 
chaos with all this uh, severe weather and uh, these folks definitely need a beneficial break um, aside from that folks uh, like I say I just did a 30 probably a 25 minute long update here and uh, for some reason for some reason I had been recording for 10 hours straight and uh, what happened was when I, uh, I, I don't know though, nor there's a hotkey that I use to start the, start the uh, recording and to stop it. So it, I don't know, but it's weird. 10 hours. I don't know what happened 10 hours ago, but I did a whole update here for nothing. And I, I wanted to make sure everyone knows what's going on here with the space weather activity and earthquake activity and, uh, potential, uh, CME activity that's arriving here on Friday, uh, Friday night. So, uh, yeah, so I went ahead and took care of that and, um, it's recording. So <laughs> ghost in the machine, I think it is right. I think there's a movie about that from the, like in the nineties or something back in the early nineties, ghost in the machine. There's definitely a ghost in the machine here, I believe. So that, or maybe the kids jumping, around and maybe one elbowing my keyboard i don't know but uh either way have a good night folks we'll catch you guys back out here in the morning uh, make sure you guys stay safe and uh, uh watch for some stronger flaring overnight i think we're gonna see a larger x flare come into play here uh with this massive sunspot that is currently facing the earth so stay safe See you guys back out here for Thursday morning, Thursday morning update. Take care, folks.